Can he see me? Can he hear me? It is great to see you, Madam Vice President. Victor, it is so good to see you. The history making that you are doing, we are so proud of you. It is great to talk to you. Welcome to the International Space Station. As we think about the history that you are making as the first African-American to be on the International Space Station for a long duration of time, I want to ask you, as you are in the process of making history, how do you think of those upon whose shoulders we stand and, and how they have inspired your work? Actually, I, I think about that piece often. You know, all seven of us up here are a part of an amazing legacy of human spaceflight. Everything every astronaut or cosmonaut has ever done is, has led to us being here now in this special time. And so I, I really appreciate that legacy and I try to work my hardest to honor it. I think about right now, and, and it is a time that we should celebrate and be appreciative of the current state of human spaceflight. But really what I'm most excited about is the future of human spaceflight and the fact that this is going to be the future. This is what we're going to do for the foreseeable future. And so making sure that, yeah, that was a first, but it won't be the only time that that's happened. We want to make sure that we can continue to do new things. My mother would say to me, Kamala, you may be the first to do many things. Make sure you're not the last. So I understand you recently got some fresh air because you went on a spacewalk outside of the space station for the first time. What was that like? One of my colleagues said to me to keep your world small, to focus on the thing right in front of you and then slowly widen out that worldview. And that really helped because the first time that I did just sit back and look down at the earth, I just wanted to do that for the rest of the seven hours that I was outside. It was, it was pretty amazing, but we had a lot of work to do. So it was also very busy, busy and beautiful. You are seeing earth from such an incredible view you have an ability to see the challenges that are facing Earth from space. What do you see as the challenges for Earth based on where you are in space? It is just a spectacular thing to see from here. And it's very obvious from up here is how thin our atmosphere is and just how special it is for there to be human life on this planet. And so it makes me want to do all that I can to protect that. You are inspiring us and you are reminding us of what is possible when we dream big and when we think big. So thank you.